Welcome back, friends, and thank you for joining me on another installment of Self Care Sunday, featuring the one and only water. If you haven't eaten today or if you're hungry, go grab yourself a snack. We'll enjoy that together. And don't forget to bring your favorite things so that we can also keep each other company while we do some of the things that make us the happiest. I'll meet you back here in a couple seconds, but don't forget all of those things and then we'll be off. Okay. So I see that butterflies, just like as a trend again, um, have come back um, in very full force. A lot of butterfly clips happening, people, you know, doing the butterfly thing on their eyes. So I figured, why don't we give it a shot? Um, there is this beautiful face um, that has been done by Judas Tape, where it's like a very beautiful, like, sunset smoky eye and then a rhinestone butterfly like right on the corners of your eyes and they use um like the bridge of your nose is the body which i think is absolutely immaculate can we do it absolutely we sure can and we're gonna try today we're gonna give it our our best shot so come with me on this journey and so let's see what happens i'm gonna do my base off camera and then i'll come back and meet you for the fun stuff let's go do that Hi, again, welcome back. We are put together now. We've got our base on, we've got our brows done. I even took a moment and I did my brows. Today, instead of the normal duo that I normally use, I just use the um, Gigi Apothecary Brow Bar, Brow Balm, I apologize. It's like a glycerin bar, you know, the one. And then I just use a little bit of that Maybelline um, it's just like a brow pencil, the Brow Ultra Slim Defining Pencil to fill in the fronts of my brow a little bit. So now, the fun stuff. We're gonna use, to prime the, the eye, we're gonna do the Elf Putty Eye Primer. And we're going to, so I don't know how well this is gonna work. I might, I might end up hating it, but we're gonna see, we're gonna find out. We're gonna use the Nostalgia Palette by Ace Beauty and we're going to go into, it's called Carnival. It's gonna be this deep purple here and that's gonna be the all over lid shade. And then we're going to, I haven't decided exactly what we're gonna do for colors yet, but I'm thinking of like blending out into a pastel moment. How do we feel about that? I think it feels like a good idea. I think, it, I, do, I do, I think it feels like a good idea. So these are the two colors. You can't really see them. They're by Makeup a Murder. And they're like little poison bottles. They're really cute. I, I love them. I've talked about them a couple times. The only problem that I have with these is I have a hard time getting the pigment to stick to me. But the last time, or the very first time I used this, the putty primer, it seemed to do a pretty good job sticking to that. So we're going to see if it works again this time because that would be super cool. Um, so we're gonna put this all over the lid and if we need to, then we'll just reapply. I don't know, we'll see how this goes because this these things make me nervous. I'm sure you can tell. Um, so I'm gonna do one eye, we're gonna see how it goes and then I'll show you how the other eye goes. Let's do it. So here we are so far, we've got this cute little smoky, sultry, whatchamacallit going on. So I just primed my eyes with the Elf Putty Primer. This is actually working really well for this project because it's nice and tacky. Um, but we are gonna go in with the Ace Beauty Nostalgia Palette. We're gonna pick up Carnival. And this is a little bit more of a packed brush. It's a little fluffy, but not too much because we wanna really be able to place this product right on the lid. So we're gonna put it, we're not gonna put it all the way into the inner corner because we don't really need to do that, but we are gonna take it out. So just pack it in all over the lid up to the crease and then when you get to the outer corner what you're gonna do is you're gonna make that little cute little V shape like that like that this is okay to be messy we've got a lot of blending to do here folks once that's all colored in does not again does not have to be super neat but it does need to be fully colored in Sometimes purples can get a little patchy. It's okay to go back and build up that color just to make sure that everything looks even. So once it's mostly filled in like this, we're gonna go into, I pulled out my Warrior II by Juvia's palette. And I'm gonna take this super tiny little brush 
This is just like a detailing brush. It's a very flat brush. How many times can I say brush in one sentence? Let's count. This is Shawada from that palette that we were just talking about. You're gonna take a tiny bit on this one. Tap off the excess because black is very, um, obviously it's dark, but it's a little bit harder to get blended out. It takes a lot more blending. So we're gonna put that on the inner corner here. And the good thing is if you don't add enough, you can always go back and build up that color. And you're gonna take a little bit more and you're gonna put it on the outer corner also. And just follow that line. You're not gonna go all the way up though. You're gonna stop at your crease for this. And then, so your V is gonna be a lot smaller. So it's gonna go from your lash line up to your crease and then into your crease. And then just blend that into the purple. This is just to deepen and give you a little bit more dimension there. So oh, I forgot I was chewing gum. How rude of me, I am so sorry. But we're gonna move on. So you're gonna take just like any big fluffy brush. And what I did was I just kind of went through and blended this hard edge. This is to make blending with the pastels a little bit easier. It's not gonna blend out a ton, but at least diffuse those edges a little bit so that it's not such a harsh line underneath the pastels, which are very light. So it's a little bit harder to cover those edges. So this is fine. This is basically fine. Okay. I am going to add a little bit more purple to the center though, just to help blend out that black a little bit. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take two separate brushes for these. This is, my, this is my purple. So we're going to use this purple color first. This is that um, Makeup a Murder Poison Pastel Neon Pigment. It doesn't have a color name. I think it's just called like purple. So we've talked about these before. The cork actually carries a ton of pigment. So you want to use the what's on the cork first. You're going to pick up a ton too. So this you're just going to place right over that line and you're going to start blending and you're going to have to keep building this one up. Get as much pigment on your brush as you can and then tap it on. Oh, there you go. Like that. And then you can start blending this. So let's go do that. Here we are with the purple. All right. Still looking a little sus. It's okay. We're going to get there. It's, it's a work in progress. It's fine. Okay. So I did end up going back and adding a little bit more of that darker purple called Carnival from the Ace Nostalgia palette to the center of the lid just so that this blended out a little bit nicer. And I did end up adding a little bit more black to the end of this wing and to the inner corner just to make it a little bit more deep. Give it some dimension. Okay. Now we're going to go into, oh, I'm going to use a different brush for this. Same kind of brush, like just little fluffy guy so that we could blend it and stuff so we're going to use this I'm trying to get as much on the cork as possible and we're gonna just do the same thing we're just gonna stamp it on get as much on the brush as you can and stamp it this blue is a little bit harder and then just blend it into the purple Okay, we're still looking a little crazy. What we're gonna do now, I'm gonna add a little bit more blue. What we are gonna do now. Okay, I'm gonna take this nice fluffy brush again. We are going to go into whatever shade that you like to use to diffuse edges. I like to use the Momentum out of the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. And you're just gonna diffuse the edges of the blue really nicely so that it just, Kind of fades out. Nice. And after this is where I'll really go back and look and see if there's any blends that really just need a little bit more work. So if, do I need to add a little bit more of that pastel purple? Is there any of that dark purple that needs to go back in? Just to make the blends a little bit more consistent and a little bit better shifting. I don't know if that's what I meant to say, but like just so that they're better, you know? Um, so we're gonna do that, and then we're going to drag that blue back underneath the eye, and then layer on some of that dark purple, um, the carnival shade, 
on top of the blue. So let's go do that and I'll come back when I'm all done. Perfect. You know what time it is. It's time. Okay, so this part is going to take approximately 30 business days. Um, so I'm just going to kind of spell it out. So we're going to use the smallest purple gems um, and we're going to make the wings. Then we're gonna color them in, maybe with the smallest blue gems, maybe some big blue gems, who knows? We're gonna figure it out as we go. We're gonna do some accent pieces or like some like little detailing and stuff with the small purple gems, maybe some of our clear gems. I don't have a ton of these left though, so we'll see how far we get with that. Um, oh, but I have some clear gems in here, but they're kind of big. Who knows, it's fine. We're gonna be fine. I'm gonna do half my face, and then if we have time, maybe I'll show you how I did that half, the other half of my face, or I'll just like show up and it'll be done. So stay tuned if you want, I'll be here, and I hope you will be too. Sounds good. This is a lot of work. We did commit to it though. It has taken me 30 minutes to glue all of these individual rhinestones onto my face. Not exactly sure it even looks like a butterfly wing, but we're started, so we have to keep going. Wish me luck. I'm definitely not taking you on the journey for the next one because half an hour, half an hour is what this has taken so far. So before we start the other side, let's, I think it's time. We could use, we could use some water. So grab your water if you have it with you. If not, please go get some. Do remember to hydrate yourself. It's getting hot out there too. So you just wanna make sure you're drinking enough water anyway. Well, let's take a sip. I'll go first. Thank yourself for being present today. I hope your day is going great. And we're gonna take a deep breath really quickly. I know, we, ha we don't have a lot of time for it, but like we have to make the time for it. I feel like things are falling off. It's fine, we're making the time for ourselves. Ready, we're gonna breathe in. One more, one more. We're gonna breathe in, in three, two, one. Thank yourself for showing up for you today. Let's get on to the other side. My crocodile tears are forming. Let's go. So we shaped up a little bit here. We are kind of looking a little lopsided, but you know what? A butterfly is imperfect, so why am I expected to be? And that's what I have to say about that. So, moving on. We are going to now do some highlighter. And I think it's only fitting that we do some fun, colorful highlighter today. So we're gonna do the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Palette. And we're gonna do the purple horseshoe color. It is gonna be purple, so that's super fun, obviously. You know, surprisingly though, it's a little bit difficult to find like colored highlighter that actually shows up with a pigment. Like it looks like one color in the pan, but it actually applies a completely different color. So this is actually a pretty good, pretty good one for that. You probably can't see it in your view though, but Hopefully when there's some pictures taken of this, it'll look a little more purple. Who knows? It's fine. Everything is fine. Oh, you can kind of see it. Oh yeah, there it is. That's perfect. And what do we think? Do we want to put a little shimmer on the center of our eyes? Maybe? What do we think? Mm. No, that's a lot, right? There's a lot going on right here, so maybe we just leave it. We leave it matte. We don't have lashes on or anything yet, so this look is about to be 
something completely different than it currently is. So we'll just leave it for now. A lot of fallout though, that's okay. Oh, she cute. Oh, she cute, okay. All right, so now we're gonna go do our lashes. I haven't decided what lashes I, I will use, but I will keep you updated. I'm just gonna go coat them with mascara really quickly first, and I'll be right back to let you know what's next. Yeah! So we're going to use these Luna Magic Cosmetic Lashes in the style Happy X. This is what they look like. And I'm going to apply that quickly, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about what lip color we're going to use to finish off the look and then all we have to do is do our hair get changed and then we're good to go um I do need some help deciding what kind of hair we're gonna go with honestly I have I'm like the worst at trying to figure out what hair to do so we're just gonna hope for the best I normally just end up like curling the ends or like leaving it straight or maybe we throw on a wig probably not because that's a lot more work than actually doing something with my hair um, especially with all the rhinestones, I don't want like the wig cap to pull my head back too much and these all fall off. It's just good. It's, that would be a nightmare. We've already decided. I've already decided. We're not doing a wig. Wow, that rant. Okay, so I'm going to apply these and I'll be back. Sounds good. See you soon. Okay, so I'm thinking for lips. This is the NYX. It's the, the same lip liner that I use all the time, but it's in this color called Ace. It's a blue color. So I'm thinking maybe I line. Okay, here are my two thoughts. I either just put, because I have the actual lipstick of this too, with, um, maybe I put the blue on the center and then I put this around it. What do we think about that? So that just the blue, the blue is in the center. Let's try it. If we hate it, we can always take it off. It's a lot easier to redo lipstick than it is to redo an entire eye. So let's try that and we'll revisit and see if we hate it and go from there. Welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking with me today. We actually turned out pretty cute. Look at this. I mean, can you tell it's a butterfly? Who knows? Not I. That is up to you, the viewer, to decide. What do you think? I think we did fantastically though. Don't forget to finish your water. Do not forget to finish your snack. I know we didn't get a chance to um, actually eat together today, but I'm really counting on you to finish that for yourself. Thank yourself for being able to show up for you today. It was really awesome that you took time out of your day in order to make sure that you got to do the things that you love. And until next time, I'll see you then.